Go. The North and South, like brother and sister, like neighbors. The North and South have several differences and many advantages over each other. The Southern soldiers knew and memorized the Southern countryside. During the Civil War, they knew secret pathways and passages that didn't appear on maps. They knew the back way through woods and other areas of the South to attack the North unexpectedly. The South also faced some disadvantages, too. They had a lot of economic problems. It had few factories to produce weapons and other vital supplies. It also had few railroads to move troops and supplies. The Confederate Constitution favored states' rights and limited power of the central government. As a result, the Confederate government found it difficult to accomplish tasks. The North had almost four times as many free citizens, free citizens as the South and many people to grow food and market factories making supplies. Before the war, northern factories produced more than 90% of the nation's manufactured goods. Once the war began, these factories immediately began making guns, bullets, cannons, boots, uniforms, and other supplies for the Union Army. The North lastly had a strong navy and a large fleet of trading ships. Even with these advantages, the North faced a complicated military problem. To bring the South back to the Union, northern soldiers had to attack and overpower a huge area of the South. Also, the North and South fought like siblings because the North and South fought over slaves and states' rights like siblings would fight over a teddy bear. The South wanted state rights and less power to the federal government and also needed slavery. But the North wanted the opposite. They wanted a big federal government and had no need for slavery at all. They were geared toward manufacturing. This caused South Carolina to secede from the Union. This is like how two siblings would fight over a teddy bear and how the North and South fought over how to rule the government and over slavery. Another reason the North and South acted like siblings was because each, so each side thought they were right about their way of life. The South thought that they were right about how they could secede from the Union at any time and that they could and that they could own slaves. The North thought they needed to stop them from forming their own government and yield them from leaving the Union. This is how like siblings always think they're right and the others always wrong. The North and South had totally different points of view on things like parents and children and different perspectives on things. The two sections of the U.S. were both geographically different and different in lifestyles. Each side was physically different throughout thoroughly. <laughs> The North and South acted like disagreeing neighbors because of the Missouri Compromise. The North and South fought over whether the Louisiana Purchase Territory should be a slave area or a free area. Like neighbors decide whose property is whose. Another way the North and South acted like neighbors is that they had to decide which states were slave states and which states were free. This is like how neighbors had to decide where to put a fence to separate properties. The last reason the North and South acted is that they were neighbors because of, their, of the border states. They had to take a side to fight with North or South. It's like how people living in the middle of a street have to decide on which area of the street they're located at. The South was mostly farmland. Most of the USA's crops are grown and produced in the South. Their economy was based on agriculture. The South was hot, humid, and great for farming because of the plentiful rain they received and the flat, wide field cotton and other crops could be grown on. The North, however, was based on manufacturing. All the weapons, clothing, and more were produced there. The weather was not good for growing crops due to heavy snowfall and hilly land. This was one of the major differences between the North and South. Slavery was a big issue during the Civil War. The North wanted to abolish slavery because they didn't need it, but the South needed slaves for their agricultural economy. There were many arguments with the, the, whether what state should be slave states. It was one of the biggest reasons the Civil War started. The Battle of Gettysburg was the bloodiest three-day battle of American history. More soldiers died than any other time in American history. It was fought, through July, it was fought July 1st through 3rd in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. The Battle of Gettysburg was described as the Civil War's turning point. It was the most famous and important battle of the Civil War. It began as a skirmish, but by the end it involved 160,000 Americans. Although the Battle of Gettysburg end, did not end the war, it was a great battle of the war, marking the point when the ultimate victory of the North over the South became clear to both sides alike. The Battle of Gettysburg began early on the morning of July 1st, 1863, when General Buford's pickets, three miles west of Gettysburg, spotted Confederate column sent by General Hill. A Union cavalry officer fired the first shot of the battle, and the Confederates answered back with gunshots of their own. The 
Cavalrymen knew that they could not stop the Southern Infantry, so they slowly fell back towards Gettysburg until they reached the McPherson Farm. The cavalry was making one last determined stand when Union infantry, infantry just arrived in time to throw back the Confederates. One of the first Union soldiers to fall was Major General John Fulton Reynolds, instantly killed while leading his troops into the fray. This was a major start of the battle. The U.S. became a better country after the Civil War. The country was with one law, no slavery. This way the country wasn't arguing. There was one law that everyone had to follow. It also helped because states weren't allowed to secede after the Civil War. When neighbors fought like the North and South did, they, de they, they developed a better relationship after. Brothers and sisters get over it when they argue. They become closer and fight less because there's one less thing to fight about. In the Civil, when the civil, in the civil War, the fight was over. States' rights and slavery arguments completely stopped. Now the USA... Now in the USA, those things will never be fought over again.